Hi, today we're going to talk about evaluating functions and solving equations. So in the next future videos, we're going to talk about trigonometry, geometric pro problems, converting sentences into equations, and averages, proportions, fractions, and percents, and other topics that you're going to be tested on. So today is all about functions and solving equations, which is on SAT exam. Okay, let me give you the equation here. So the question is here, if f of x is okay, equals to x squared plus 8x plus 3, and f of x is equal to 51, then what is x? That's the question. Okay, so remember this is a x squared quadratic equation, okay, remember. And this, the form of the, uh, the quadratic equation is x squared plus bx plus 3. Remember, we have the three terms here, okay? The constant term is c, and it's b, and the leading coefficient is here, 1, okay? This is what you need to remember. So, so let's solve the questions straight away. So, if f of x is 51, we're going to put it down into the fx. That comes up to 51 equals, okay, x squared plus 8x plus 3, okay? So, we got to subtract them by 51. So, minus 51, that comes up to 0, okay, equals x squared plus 8x. So, the term here, the plus 3 minus 51, Okay, remember, that's negative 48. Okay, that's negative 48. So this is basically the equation that we need to work on. So remember, so the term, if you think about the, you know, the equation, the form, it's ax squared plus bx plus c, a must not be zero. Okay, so what if you multiply x to zero, that comes up to zero. Remember, one time zero equals zero, okay? Two multiply zero comes up to zero. Remember, a must not be the zero, okay? Yeah. Okay, so remember this is the polynomial expression with three terms we just, just talked about, and this is a trinomial, okay? So in, in order to find the x, we can use the the factor, we can factor it, okay? So, remember, it's minus 48, we're going to use the division, okay? So let me put it down here, negative 48. So one times minus 48, that's minus 48, okay? And two times negative 24, that's minus 48. And three times minus 16, that comes a negative 48. Okay, so 4 times, okay, and minus 12, that comes up to minus 48. Remember 5, we can use divide minus 48 by 5, but it's going to not give the whole number. Okay, so 5 times 9, that's 45. 5 times 6, uh, 5 times 10, that's 50. Okay, it's not, go it's not going to give the whole number, so we're going to skip that. Okay, now 6. Um, 6 times, okay, minus 8, that's minus 48, okay, 7 is not going to give the whole number, so we're going to skip that, okay, so 8 times minus 6, that's minus 48, okay, now, we're going to use the zero product property here, so we need to find two numbers that multiply to the term negative 48, and at the same time, we can actually add them, add to the middle coefficients, which is plus 8. Remember, 2 times negative 24, that's negative 48, okay? But remember, 4 times negative 12, that's negative 48. Remember what I just told you? We need to add them to the middle coefficient, okay? So, we see that here. The middle coefficient is plus 8, okay? So, minus 12 plus 4, that's minus 8. So, what we need to do, we can reverse the sign, okay? So, if you use 
the cross section. We can use a cross section here, okay? X multiplied by x, x times x that comes up with x squared, okay? So 12 times 4, that's 48, remember? So in order to get the plus 8, we can use the actually plus 12, which we need to reverse the sign from minus negative 12 to plus 12, and then minus 4, that comes up to plus 8. So this, uh, this is how you set the, you know, the formula, okay? So remember, by using the zero product property here, so x, okay, uh, x plus 12, okay? Yeah, let me erase them. So x times plus 12, and x minus 4 equals 0, okay? So in order to get 0, we can put that down into minus 12, plus 12, that's 0. Okay, if you put x4 plus 4, positive 4, minus 4, that comes as 0. Okay, the answer would be x equals to 4. Okay, yeah, this is for today's class. As I say in the beginning of the class today, we'll talk about um, the trigonometry, geometry problems, converting sentences into equations, average proportions, fractions, percents, and other topics that you're going to be tested on in the next videos. Thank you for watching the video.